Hi everyone, today I've got a project that is picnic themed and the one that I made looks like this and it's quite fun to make. I've got some ants coming after the food and you know it just creates a great opportunity for conversation with your loved ones so stick with me and I'll show you how you can make something like this with your loved one. To make a collage like this, you'll want to have some old magazines on hand or some old reading material. I tend to pick up free magazines from the local library um, that are put out by local businesses. So I've got this one here. It's got a variety of drinks and foods in it. So I am going to use that for my picnic themed collage. So I just went through the magazine and chose some pages. That had some tasty looking things on there and now I am going to just cut them out. So if you're doing this with your loved one they can help you choose items to cut out. If they're good with scissors of course they can cut out their own items um, but if they need your help with the scissors they can pick and choose what they like or if it feels like there's too many options available to them you can always cut out a few things ahead of time so that they can have choices but just more limited options. I'm going to include some alcoholic beverages in my picnic and I don't ever feel like I have to shy away from using alcoholic beverages but of course it depends on the client that I'm working with. If they have a history of alcohol abuse of course I will avoid using that with them. But for many people, having a drink at the end of the day after work was just a normal part of life. So just because they have dementia doesn't mean that they still can't enjoy a beverage. And if it interacts badly with their medications that they may be taking, um, making art about alcohol, that's okay too. I really try to honor the fact that my clients are adults. And they probably recognize in themselves that they are adults, even though many of their qualities may come across as being childlike. So now that I've got a few options cut out, I'm just going to grab a piece of construction paper. I've chosen pink. Any color will do. And I'm going to select some items to glue onto my paper to make it look like a nice picnic spread. Add some drinks and of course some some fresh things to eat like fruit. And now for a little bit of fun, I'm going to add some ants because no picnic is complete without a few bug visitors. And where I live, there always seems to be a lot of ants around. So I'm just using a Q-tip and some black paint. And to make the ant bodies, I just dab the Q-tip down on the paper three times. And then using a little brush, I added the legs for the ants. So of course, ants have six legs, so three on each side. And there you have it, my picnic collage complete with some insect visitors. I hope you're feeling inspired to create your very own picnic scene. Um, it really is a fun conversation starter. I know that sometimes with people with dementia, it's hard to find something to talk about. So having something like this on hand um, is a great way just to have conversation with them. So until next time, take care. Bye-bye.